Good morning, Instagram and Facebook. I'm a couple of minutes late, but I'm glad we are here today on this amazing uh, Monday morning. Uh, I'm actually chosen a different place, like I said, in the office to be able to do this. So I'm excited. I hope everyone is having a great day today. Definitely let me know you are on board this morning and uh, and doing good. All right. I'm so glad to have every one of you here on this amazing, beautiful Monday morning. It's the last weekend, by the way, in February. So I'm excited about March. A lot of great things come up in March uh, for all you guys. And I'm really thrilled and excited to be a part of this with all of you today. So I really am. It's going to be exciting. So by the way, let me say this to you guys as well. Um, one of the things that has really uh, helped me out a lot within uh, my ministry, actually, is really understanding how to be able to um, empower people, but also be able to uh, find the power of knowledge and wisdom and education myself from the Lord to be able to um, help other people. You know, so I'm excited about that as well, because you know what, it's, it's always good to be able to teach people uh, you know, the uh, things you've learned that's helped you along the way. And so that's why I'm excited to be a part of this journey with every one of you. All right. So let's uh, get started today. Oh, by the way, let me tell you this. I got a lot of great things you guys are going to really enjoy, by the way. A lot of really great things that's going to help you guys all out. All right. So let me go ahead and pull this up for you guys. Hold on a minute because I want to talk to you guys about a lot of things today, all right? So I hope you're definitely ready to get on board with me. So let me say this first of all. So this is the last weekend of the month, so we are going to be talking about um, the book that is, the last time we'll talk about it for this month is actually How to Heal Yourself, which I'm excited about. It's a great, great book. Uh, it's it's really thick, and we've had so many testimonies every day, like literally every day from people saying, Jeremy, like, I don't know what I would do without your books, because this one has really transformed my life, and it's helped me, and I'm thrilled to know that. It, it makes me feel really good to know that we are helping people along the journey of really discovering themselves. You know, some of the things that people um, have told me is, you know, that I love listening to other people, which I'm glad you do. You know, I hope you are well-rounded and knowing so many different voices out there in the prophetic movement. And not just in the prophetic movement, but all around the world. There's powerful, educated voices out there in, in, in the world that we want to be able to listen to that God's given wisdom to. So, But one of the things that have, have, have helped a lot of people is, you know, they say a lot of ministers don't really focus on uh, certain things, you know, in this hour. They don't focus on really self-improvement, self-help. And it does trouble me because, you know, we're called to be the body of Christ to really talk about taking care of the temple of God, you know. And um, and if it's and if it's okay with you guys, I want to share one thing, okay? Before I get started, something that has really been burning this weekend, you know, in my spirit, and um, and it is a positive. But I want to say this to you guys, if you don't mind, I totally, you know, um, totally understand and totally respect so many different diversities in the body of Christ. But but if you don't mind, I want to just sort of get this off my chest today for each one of you. Um, maybe you might feel the same way, you know. Um, Something God's really been burning in my spirit. I talk, actually talked to another prophetic voice this past week that you all would definitely know. Many of you have, you know, he's been one of my best friends for years. But um, is the toxicity being poured out right now in the body of Christ? And and I was sharing with him, I said, you know, I said, we don't realize the power of life and death in our tongue. And we don't realize the, um, uh, the power of witchcraft and rebellion that comes out of a lot of us in the body of Christ. And, you know, and he's like, you know, explain to me how. When I told him this, he was like, you know what, I'm 100% board, on board with you. And I'm going to say this just to get it off my chest today, okay? Um, I don't think ministers should, should be in politics, uh, personally. And one of the things that's really been troubling me, the Holy Spirit's really been ministering to me on this past week, is staying away from people who are who are using witchcraft um, by cursing our government, cursing our president, cursing our nation. And, you know, one of the things the Lord told me is, God said, Jeremy, I've commanded my people in Ephesians and Romans, I've commanded my people to pray for your leadership. And I've had a lot of people recently, you know, who, you know, that I watch a lot of these famous, you know, people, and, and they're like just constantly bashing Biden and you know, President Biden and the White House. Here's my thinking. I don't care if you're for or against him. I, you know, that's not even an issue for me. But as a, as, a, as a Christian, as a mature Christian, we are using witchcraft to say, oh, our economy is about to get worse. That's witchcraft. That is literally speaking words of death. And then people, you know, will say things, you know, like, you know, oh, he's horrible. The key thing is this. You're projecting literal rebellion and witchcraft 
witchcraft against our president, no matter who it is. If it's Trump or Biden, I personally don't care. But if it's Trump or Biden or Obama or Bush, it doesn't matter. When you don't stand to pray and keep your mouth shut about current presidents and governments and economy, then what you're doing is, as a Christian, you're utilizing your power of good that God's given you that's godly to literally boil, boil up witchcraft within inside of you. Because, because you have to remember, you're operating as a witch. I'm going to be very honest with you. You're operating as a witch when you say, oh, you know, Connie's about to crash. You know, you, you know that, you know, look how bad he is. And I'm and literally you are utilely you are literally being a white well not a white you're literally being a witch, a total witch. You are stirring up witchcraft because the Bible says pray for leadership. God didn't say what part of they were. God didn't care when Trump was in office. Prayed for him when Biden was in office. I prayed for him. I don't care. You know it has nothing to do with who I like better. I don't care about that stuff. I always say first of all we're called to come out from among them, be separate. If you're involved in them, you're involved in in the in worldliness. That's just Bible. When you're involved in that, you are you are saying I don't have the mind of Christ and I am down to the level of the worldly system of something God has said. You know come out from among them. And I'm saying this because I'm seeing I'm hearing so many of you in life coaching sessions and also on your social media. You know say you know our, our economy is about to hit. Here Here's the key thing. I'm going to say something very important, and then we're going to get back to our book. I guess it's something as a prophet I'm going to say. Um, you are not operating as a Christian when you are not praying the, for the Ukraine. When right now, those, I'm going to say this very honest and bluntly, those political people that are ministers of the gospel that are talking about President Biden, President Trump, government, is not fully operating as a minister. I'm going to be very blunt when I say this. I know my staff is like, oh my God, here he goes. Because you are commanded as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ to operate as an Ephesians chapter 4 minister, you are not allowed to get into politics. You are, you are supposed to be sold out, decreased, that he can increase in you so that he may get the glory. God does not care about the worldly system that's going to change every four years or eight years. Folks, let me tell you something very bluntly, okay? There's a country in trouble right now. Okay, there's a country in trouble called the Ukraine. We should be on our hands and knees praying right now for them. Then instead of using your witchcraft, your evil demonic witchcraft to curse a president, no matter who our president is, you are literally operating as a Satanist. I'm going to be very blunt with you. I'm sorry. You're operating as a Satanist when you are stirring up witchcraft to curse a government, a president, or anything that is that that has been put in place because God said, I raise up kings, I exalt them, and I bring them down. Which, in other words, God is saying, it's none of your business who I have in office. None of your business whatsoever. This has nothing to do with who I like. I, I, have, I have come so far away from who I like and don't like, it's not even funny. I do not care. What I care about is the kingdom and the one I am sold out to. I'm not sold out to Trump. You know, it's more people worship him than anything. I'm not sold out to Biden. I don't care. I don't worship him either. I worship the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And from that, God has says, come out from among them, be separate, says the Lord. Don't be part of the world. I mean, how many times do we have to hear this until we get people that are saying, hey, look, I'm going to give a funny as a minister on my social media about a president. Every one of you should run. I, I, I want to use my term to say run like hell, but I know many of you are probably too religious to hear this. You better run because that's not a minister sold out of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. You are called to preach Jesus and the kingdom. If not, get out of ministry, okay? Get out of ministry because that means you're not operating as a minister. And I'm not being ugly. I'm really not. I'm saying, folks, listen to me. These are going to change every four years and eight years, and it's not worth losing friends or relationships, nor is it worth, you know, just using, using witchcraft and rebellion to curse our economy. No matter who is present, we should be praising God and saying, and being like God and calling those things to be not as though they were. If you don't like Democrats, Republicans, Biden, Trump, Obama, if you don't like them, keep your mouth shut and start praying for them and saying, God, I thank you that our president has wisdom right now. I thank you right now that he's going to listen to you. I thank you, God, that we'll make the right decision. Let me tell you something. It doesn't matter who's president. Right now, it's crucial that we begin to operate as 
as children of the Most High God and fall on our face and pray for leaders right now who are making the toughest decisions from with NATO, with our president, with our vice president, with, um, you know, uh, uh, gosh, our government. Folks, let me tell you something. It's crucial. No one right now that would be our president would have the answer to know what to do because it's vitally important. We have got to mature, come out from among childishness. This is not a time to bash people. It's a time to grow up and say, you know what? Ukraine needs us. Father, right now I pray in Jesus' name that, our, that this country is saved and that you will protect them and per, put your angels in charge of them and that you would give our president, our vice president, NATO, all the other nations the wisdom to know how to combat Russia right now. I mean, that's what we do, folks. That's what we do. You know, Peter never talked about the government. Jonah, you know, let me tell you something. I'm going to be blunt with you. Nowhere in the scripture does it say this. Jonah was called, commanded to go to Nineveh. God reminded me this morning. That's why I'm saying this this morning. God reminded me this morning. See, I knew this wouldn't get a lot of likes because many of you are like, I want to be on the Trump train. Then you know what? Be on the Trump train. It doesn't matter. But be a godly person and keep your mouth shut. And pray for those who are in office right now, because right now we desperately need wisdom as a nation to where we will not get into World War III, that we pray for our own. When you don't pray for your own president, your own government, you know, then let me tell you something, that you're not part of the USA, because you're not doing what God's commanded you to do. And, and Jonah went to Nineveh, and do you know what? God never told him, hey, let me tell you about the political status of Nineveh, Jonah. You know why? Because God didn't care. God didn't care. God said, Jonah, go to Nineveh. They need me. I don't want to go to Nineveh. And then Jonah repented, went to Nineveh, and it says the entire entire city, all of them, everyone repented. And you know what? Nowhere is it mentioned about a king, a government, a president, a go nowhere, because God didn't care. The empowerment is not with presidents anyway. The empowerment is with us, the people. And I'm telling you right now, whatever you do, don't allow toxicity and poison to get into your system. When we need to pray for a country right now, Ukraine, and we need to pray for these people. You know what? If you don't, please unlike me. I don't mean this bad, but please unlike Identity Network because I'm sorry. I'm going to be sold out to my, to my Heavenly Father and to the Son of the Almighty God, not to politics. And I'm saying this because, folks, anybody that God says, God says, that God says, should be, be saying God in the sense of speaking on behalf of the Heavenly Father and the church and people repenting, not on people they are trying to brown nose to, to like as a president. I'm not being ugly, but I'm saying this, folks, because as ministers, we're sold out to the gospel of Jesus Christ and no one else, no one else. God has blessed this ministry for, for years and years with people of precious like faith that understand we are not going to be like these people and post ugliness. And you will never see this on my Diddy Network. I will never bash Obama, oh Biden, uh, excuse me, Obama, okay, I'm like talking tongues, Biden and Trump, and but I will never do that on Diddy Network. You have never seen me, nor will you. You know why? Because I'm not going to brown nose to the worldly system. I won't do it to get people to like me. Won't do it. I will bow to nothing more than my Heavenly Father, and if people want me to get involved in the earthly system, find somebody who's not a Christian. Because as a Christian, my mind has to be renewed to that of think upon things that are good and holy and righteous and praiseworthy, and think about the kingdom, and think about the one that died for me, and think about the fact that I'm called to decrease. God didn't ask me for my opinion, nor does he care. I'm just saying this because it's been burning in my heart so much. And I see so much toxicity and so much poison and so much westernized Christianity bowing to the system of this world. Then being sold out to people, I mean to God, knowing that people are dying. Do you know the other day there was a guy, God bless him, and makes me want to uh, cry, and it did the other day. There was a guy who actually wanted to, you know, to, to, to oh wow. Uh, that was trying to, they were trying to get the bridge blown up so the Russians wouldn't cr come across. And yet this amazing man, because it didn't detonate, walked over there and sacrificed his life on laying on a, laying, going over there to making sure it would blow up to where they wouldn't get across. He lost his life for God's sake. 
And I'm being honest because I'm in, it, it, it makes me want to cry because I'm thinking there are people dying. And all some of you have to be concerned about is your president and, and, and cursing. And I'm thinking, what has happened to Christianity? What has happened to Christianity? And I'm, and, and I'm sorry, and I'm, I'm hoping my staff understands my heart. But if you are going to be involved in bashing presidents that I'm saying right now, leave Identity Network. I don't need you. I don't mean that I don't need you. If you're going to be a Christian and, and, and to, who loves Jesus and cares for people, then for the love of God, then join in with me. Because there are families that are suffering. And there's families that are dying. And, 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 and as people who claim to be godly people, all we can do is birth forth witchcraft to a president? I'm sorry. I, I, I just, I, you know, I, sometimes I feel like I'm in a crack because I don't understand what some of these people are involved with. And why some of these, and, and let me tell you something. Uh, some of the, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to fight not to be, be, be emotional. While some of these ministers are wearing Trump shirts, I, I'm sitting there going, I wouldn't wear a Biden shirt, a Trump shirt, because I will not bow my knee to a president or a former president or a future president. I will not do that because my mind has not been poisoned like yours. I'm sorry. I am sold out to the gospel of the one who died for me. And Trump did not die for me. And Biden did not die for me. And I'm saying this, guys, because I'm telling you right now. I'm asking you from the bottom of my heart, please share this. Because this is not, this is what Christianity has come to. And it's embarrassing. It's, it's utterly embarrassing for those that are ministers trying to preach the gospel when we have others who have literally been sold out to a worldly system. When God is saying, for the love of who I am, come out. Come out from among them. I don't care about that. Jesus said, let Caesar have what Caesar wants. I don't care about Caesar, for goodness sake. He didn't wear a shirt saying, I love Caesar. <laughs> he said, I decrease and my Father can increase in me. I'm telling you about a kingdom that is backwards from this, from this world. Folks, listen to me. I'm going to get in when I'm talking about this has been burning in my heart for a week and I couldn't hold it any longer. And you know what? This won't get me thousands of likes either. And that's fine. Because I'm not going to give in or bow to, nor will I brown nose, just to be on TV and the system and be in the White House. I don't care about that. That's not my concern. What I care about is what we should all care about. Is being a light to shine on this planet so others can see our good works and glorify his name. All right? I preach in Taiwan a lot. My Taiwanese friends are literally in fear right now of China taking them over. Literally in fear. Because they see Russia taking over the Ukraine. And all we can do as Americans is say, oh, our economy is getting worse. Oh, our president's stupid. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm thinking to myself, pardon me saying this, but I want to say, then you're not a Christian. You're not a Christian. As a Christian, we are called. We are called to one person and one person only. And that is the one who died to give us salvation. That's who I'm sold out for. And I'm asking you today, I'll have to change the title of this today. <laughs> Sorry, I have to change the title. No self-improvement here. Okay, it is self-improvement. Thank you, Lord. Um, but I'm saying this to tell you today, and, and next week I'll get into my stuff. And maybe this is what God wanted because I've been praying this morning and it's been burning in my spirit. And I'm like, God, I don't know what to do anymore because people don't care about your kingdom anymore, God. They just don't care. They don't care about the cross anymore. They don't care about you anymore, God. What they care about is fighting to see who's going to be present next and bringing forth witchcraft or rebellion to what, what is now important. And whether, whether, any, whether we like it or not, Biden is our president. And when you say, he's not my president, 
You know what you're doing? You're being rebellion, and rebellion is a form of witchcraft. Obey the scriptures, folks. Obey the scriptures. And if Trump gets in office next time, great. If he doesn't, who cares? God raises up king and God exalts him. And the Bible never says, oh, thank you, Lord. God, remind. The Bible never says, when you get a godly president, then you turn, then you, uh, you know, turn from your wicked ways and you, and you get on your knees and your hand, like the Bible says, you know, the Bible doesn't, the Bible doesn't say, it. it says, it says, when you repent, when you, you know, uh, my people who are called by my name, if they would repent, it has nothing to do. God never said a present, a government. I, you know why? Because God, I'm going to say something to you guys. It's going to go and get some of those leaders you love. God does not care. He doesn't give a flip and flop who is president. I'm being honest with you. Because he says, if my people, that's a new one for me, flip if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will restore, and I will renew, and I will give back to them. Quit blaming your president and people and who is in office and who's not in office. I'm going to say something. Grow up for God's sake. Grow up into maturity and take on the Son of God's name and say, God says, if I repent, if I turn from my wicked ways, he will hear from heaven. Please, I just ask every one of you today, start reading the scriptures for yourself and just don't go for what everyone else says. Please, okay, please. I wouldn't bring this message forth today if it wasn't burning in my spirit and if it wasn't something that God has just been sharing with me to say, Jeremy, I am so disappointed in the church today. I am so disappointed, son, in the Western church today. They have become so westernized and so worldly, they don't even care anymore. And they want to blame someone else and not take full responsibility for their own actions. And I'm like, God, what do I do? What do I do, God? He said, just speak the truth. It might be a message that's out of the box for you because maybe people are not used to it. But speak the truth in love, Jeremy. And that's what I'm trying to do today is speak it the best I can in love because you know what? At the end of the day, love wins. Love wins. And God wins. So I just wanted to share that with you guys today. And and I hope every one of you, I hope that's fine with you. I really do because I love every one of you. Um, uh, you know, and I'm just saying today, please help me join, join with us today to make a difference. Because honestly, right now, God doesn't need an army fighting against the government and president. He says, I don't need you to be an army. I need you to be sons and my families and my families, my sons and daughters are rising today to pray. Pray for those right now that you, in fact, the Lord says, pray for your enemies if you don't like Biden, if you don't like Obama, if you don't like Trump, if you don't like, you know, Joe Blow, it doesn't matter. God never asks for your opinion. He says, pray for them. All right? He says, pray for them because love always wins. All right? So last time, how to heal yourself, all right, in this month. Next month, I'm going to get into some stuff. Next month, I'm going to talk about limited. Next month, it's going to be my brand new book, Stirring Up Creativity. I'm excited. This is next month. It'll be on the website next week. And, 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 Carly, I'm glad you're on here. Got something for you, my friend. And starting next month, many of you will get some books that actually will not be on Identity Network. Check this out. Understanding the, the Law of Oneness only to our book members. I hope, Carly, you hope you're still on here. Check this out. Check this out. Mastering the Law of Compensation will not be on the website, only to our partners coming out. with. These are not the monthly books. These are going to be books given on top of the monthly books for those in the program. Check this out. Understanding the, tr the Law of Attraction, another one that will not be on the website coming out months later for those on the, on the uh, partnership, I mean the Book of the Month program. And... And mastering the law of vibration. Ha <laughs> ha. These, my friend, will not be on the website in the future. They will only be given with those books. So next month, I'm going to talk next week. Here's what I'm going to talk about. Next week will be the book of the month, Stirring Up Creativity. 
And then I will give one of these additional books free with this to our book members. And, and those who are not on the program will not ever see these. You'll never be able to get your hands on them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So uh, anyway, so next month starts this book. I'm going to get into this start next month. And one of the free books that only our partners will get. I'm excited. But this month, last but not least, Link. Thank you, Pamela. Link, How to Heal Yourself. Okay, last time you heard me talk about this on this month. And then the book of the month. And let's see, what else we got coming out here? Plus, I have coming out in the future. Where are you? Good book. Plus, I have coming out in the future. You're like, oh my gosh, not fair, not fair. Creating a sacred space. This will have a book, a workbook with it as well. So, I have got a lot of books coming out. And a lot of these books will not be put on Identity Network or anything else. Amazon or nothing. Only to those who are on our partnership program. All right? So, Get on board, all right? I hope you I hope you were blessed today. Please let me know that you're blessed today by um, what I had to share because once again, it is my heart. And, and please always know I love people. I love all ministers. I love them all, and I believe we all have a, a place in the kingdom, definitely. I'm just, I guess today was part of my, my little soapbox, I guess, but also sort of my conviction because I really feel like we're grieving God, to be real. I feel like we're really grieving God because of the fact that, that we have gotten so worldly minded on, on on all this stuff, and yet these ministers just suck us right into it. Whose side do you want? Whose side do you want? And I say to you, you know what? Come out from among that, and don't be, and don't be on anybody's side. For goodness' sake, be on the side of Jesus. All right, the author and the finisher, and the captain and the president, which is Jesus. Okay. And pray for your earthly president. Pray for our earthly government. Pray for the Ukraine. Right now, the world needs our prayers, and they really are not looking for a president. What they're looking for is the church that gets brighter and brighter on their path to say, hey, we've got an answer, and this is who his name is, Jesus, not Trump or Biden or anybody else, all right? Please hear me when I say this to you today, all right? I love each and every one of you. I really do. This is not what I was going to talk about today, but God knows what was on my heart. And just know how much you're loved, how much you're needed by the kingdom so much right now. All right? I love each and every one of you, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. God bless.